please take a moment to read our risk disclosure. Welcome everybody. In today's tutorial I'm going to cover the modules of the MT4 Supreme Edition uh, Auto Management tool and we'll start off in this session with the mini terminal. Okay, so after you've installed it and I would have sent you the email and instructions on how to do that, you need to on your trading platform click on the navigator bar that enables you to see the expert advisors and the indicators. It's this button over here. Let me just deselect the market watch. And we will now be able to see uh, under the expert advisor tab, yours might be closed, so hit the little plus sign. You'll see a whole bunch of Admiral Trade Terminal, Session Map, etc, etc. So this session right now we're going to cover the mini terminal so let me select it and all you simply have to do is click hold and drag and drop it onto your chart now the most important part here is in the commons tab just make sure that you've got allow live trading selected so click on that and don't worry about the other ones just click OK when you're done now I've, some of you may get an error message as such. This error message is simply because I do not have my auto trading button selected. So just press it and we should be ready to go. Now I'll start off with the basic features. What this little terminal does, essentially it allows you to select a lot size that you commonly use. So for example, let's say I normally trade one mini lot at a time. I'll leave it selected as one mini lot and I can specify a, a stop loss and a target profit. Now if I don't want to specify any I can change these numbers to zero. Okay. Now for the purpose of the exercise I'm going to set a target profit of 20. Now if you type 20 here that is really 20 pips. Okay. The way that we know it so it's basically the fourth decimal place not the way the MT4 does it that quotes to five decimal places. Okay. So I'm going to have so let's say for example I had a specific trading strategy that always um, had a stop loss of 15 and a target of 20, I can simply input those numbers into that little uh, docket there and then every time I press the button the trade would go in automatically with a stop and a target at those levels. Now this could be very important if, if you're just trading straight off the charts and you don't want to think about your stop and your target you just automatically hit the button. Okay. Now we can also make this button automatically enter the trade straight away or you can ask it to confirm. So for example let's hit it. So if I hit buy right now it's asked me to confirm it. So it would be a two click motion. It would be hit buy and then yes and the trade would go through. Okay so let's do it and there it is. You can see down here in this line there's that trade that I've just placed. Alright now let's say for example I, d I just wanted it to go straight away through. What I'll have to do is click on the little blue button here, go to settings, and then here it says confirm quick buy and quick sells, and then just uncheck it, click save settings, and now if I hit that button, let's see what happens. There it is, I've just entered another trade down here. Okay, and it's almost identical to, there's actually one micro pip difference between the two trades. Okay, now let me maximize this chart. What you can now do, you can see that there's the, the entry, there's the stop, and there's the target. Uh, if I wanted to move that target, all I simply got to do is just hover here, drag, and just let it go. And that's it. Now there's still another one underneath because there's actually two orders in the market. Alright, so there, now let me just delete one order so that we don't get confused and you can see that if I want to move my stop I just simply move it let it go and it does it automatically okay so this is one of the features that you can utilize with this little ticket alright now it can do a whole lot more than that let me show you how to create a template okay so what we'll do is we'll let that trade running and we'll grab the mini terminal again and we'll drop it onto the other chart this time I won't get the error message make sure that our live trading is clicked there we go, no error message, and we've got the ticket onto our GBP USD chart. Now, 
if we hit this button over here, okay, what we can do is we can create templates. Okay, so for example, let's say that I want to take a trade um, at a specific volume size without entering the the details here, or perhaps my trade wants will be at a specific equity percentage size. Okay, so what I do is it, where it says lot fixed size, I click that and I'm going to select percentage of the equity, I could do percentage of the balance, um, or I could do a fixed cash risk. Okay, I'm going to choose percentage of the equity. There we go, and I'm going to specify that this trade, every time I use this template, I'm going to risk 0.5% of equity as an example all right now I have to specify where the stops gonna be so let's say that it's still that strategy where my stop is always 15 pips all right so for example it could be like our London strategy and our target profit let's put in a fixed number at 20 pips as an example all right now I can also I've got the option that I can select to trail the market by I don't know say 10 pips so that means that as soon as the trade gets 10 pips ahead it'll start to move the stop behind you all right and follow you as you go along now you don't have to have this on uh, if you don't want to but I'm just showing you the functionality so for the exercise I'm going to leave it and I can have also a comment so I could maybe call it um, my scalp buy as an example all right so that'll be uh, my comment on it and then finally when I'm done uh, the magic number uh, if you know what that is fantastic use it it's more for EAs and so that you don't get trades mixed up but just leave it blank then I'll click on save template and I'm gonna give it uh, um, a name so let's call it a scalp buy as an example and I'm gonna save it and it's been saved all right now I want the same parameters again but I want it for a cell so I'm going to all I simply do is change it to a cell keep everything the same change the comment to a cell okay and save it and this time I'm going to call it a scalp cell and save it all right once I'm done I'll just close it off now what this enables me to do now so let's open up this chart over here it enables me to very very quickly take a trade with all those parameters that I've already preset and the way that you do it is you gotta hover over the little yellow button hit the control button on your keyboard and then click and it brings up all the templates that you've got here and there you can see my scalp buy and my scalp sell so if I simply want to do the sell I just click on the sell button and you can see instantly it's placed the trade according to those parameters that I've specified. So now you can see that the trade at the moment is down the bottom here. Now things to note is look at the size of the trade. It's calculated that this trade has to be at 0.15 volume based on an equity level of 5178 or whatever it was at the time that I pressed that button. Okay. Now it's put in the stop loss at 15, it's put in the target at 20 and it will trail the market as well by that amount of distance that I specified. If I activate the comments, I'll also see here that it says my scalp sell, so that when I look at my reports, I know what strategy it was that I've basically taken that trade. If I don't want to see that, I'll just take the comments off. Okay, but that will come up on your statement. And pretty much, there you go. You've got your, your trade um, happening as per those parameters that we talked about okay now again you can move stops and targets and do all those kind of things and you can still always use your MT4 normal terminal which is down here which I basically just for those who don't know you click on that button comes up and down you can close modify stops and all that through that um, but I'm going to show you other the other modules that will allow you to utilize a much much better terminal okay now let me show you some other things that this uh, little docket can do for you if I click on the little red button there okay I've got my settings but a couple of things that it will allow me to do is it can undock the chart now 
some people like this what this basically means if I undock it I can actually remove it outside of MetaTrader 4 so let me show you I just need to move my MetaTrader 4 a little bit to the side so that I can show you so there's MetaTrader 4 and you can see that the chart I've actually removed it and it's outside so some people like to remove the charts and put them on a different screen and while you you got your MetaTrader 4 minimized you can see that you got your chart I've got it simply on my desktop as such okay and then if I bring up my MetaTrader they're side by side when I'm done with the feature and I want to put it back I just hit the same button and then I'll go redock and basically what it's done is it's thrown it back into my uh, MetaTrader 4 program okay couple of other things hit the same button again and I can do the, the same function but with a little terminal okay so for example I can move my terminal over to another screen and, and still press the buttons and basically take the trades the same way. If I want to slot it back in, I just redock, okay, and there we go. And the trade is uh, the target is back in. Pretty much those are the major functionalities. If you want to use this ticker in a very, very basic way, you can just simply specify the a commonly traded volume, so for example 0 0.3, specify a stop loss that you normally use, a target, um, sorry, a target, say 20 pips, and you can specify a trailing stop right over here, say 10 pips. So this will do exactly the same thing as what I pre programmed. The only thing that this will not do is you got to work out the lot size. When I use the template, it's using a percentage of my equity. Alright, so those are the major features that you can use with your little mini terminal. You can have six, seven charts on your screen and just chuck a terminal on each one and simply, again, just to remind you, if I want to take more trades, I just simply click and I go scalp sell again and I've just executed another trade and you can see the two sets of trades and here they are down the bottom. Okay, hopefully this has helped you. Um, if you do have more questions on it, you can always email us. Thanks for listening. Go out, look for lots and lots of examples, bring your questions to the class, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.